We appreciate your visit and want to welcome you to Ancient Egyptian Books. You can help us by liking, following, and subscribing. Since the earliest times, Seth occupied an important spot in Egyptian belief and was worshipped as so. Contrary to the many steles depicting Seth in a divine posture receiving adoration from ancient Egyptians, many Egyptologies, historians, and archaeologists have chosen to identify the ancient Egypt god Seth as evil, who murdered his older brother Osiris. This story is not true. Stories like this are lies, fictitiously written for a Hollywood audience, that feed on thrillers. The ancient Egyptian god, who we refer to as Seth was a protector god. The son of goddess Tefnut, the mother of Osiris, Isis, and Nephthys. Goddess Tefnut asked Seth to escort his brother Osiris to a council meeting of ancient Egypt gods, call on by the goddess Maat to resolve a dispute between Osiris and Isis over his role as the father of Horus. They referred to Seth as the protector of Osiris from an event that occurred as they were traveling on a canoe in the Nile River to the council meeting of goddess Maat. The event is recorded on papyrus as Seth fends off a serpent in the protection of his older brother Osiris, the serpent is believed to have come out in favor of Horus to prevent them from reaching the meeting. The ancient Egyptians recorded this event as the first act of evil, and Seth who safely escorted Osiris to the council meeting from then on was labeled the protector god. At the end of the council meeting, Horus was identified as the first pharaoh of ancient Egypt, not Osiris. Because Horus was accepted as the first ancient Egyptian to have been born naturally of a woman, Horus will achieve God's status after death, and only if he passes the judgment day scene. Seth was given the responsibility of protecting Osiris against all evils, including Horus, who was a human with devious characters. Seth was also put in charge of training and advising Horus in the way of protecting his descendants, the ancient Egyptians. Osiris' job was to train Horus in the ways of civilization. In conclusion, Seth, the third child of goddess Tefnut was not a god of evil, Seth was a protector god. The ancient Egyptians believed that sinful acts started with the birth of the first human, Horus. The ancient Egyptians did not believe their gods practiced sinful acts such as jealousy, killing, stealing, or destroying. These are sinful activities that are practiced only by nature, humans. We appreciate your time with us, please subscribe.